The skills gap is a lie. Oh man, you guys ready to have a real conversation? You ready to shine some light in those dark corners, right? You ready to get a little uncomfortable so that we can actually bring a solution to a problem instead of just talking about it year after year and quoting numbers and saying we're going to have 2 million jobs unfulfilled? What are we actually doing about it? You know, when you, when you talk about the skills gap and everybody's in their fancy suits and they, they stand up there, you know, and they talk about it, I've seen it for years, but I don't see any real solutions, right? So if you talk about something for so long, it's going to get glossed over, right? It's going to get watered down. It's going to become part of our normal lives. And, and I believe that that is what's happening with the skills gap. You know, if you want to get real, you know, we have a training gap. We have an awareness gap. We have serious problems in manufacturing that are easily fixed if we fulfill our words and, and follow through with action, right? Everybody's like, oh, the unemployment's like so low and unemployment this and unemployment that. But at the same time, there's a lot of people that have entry level jobs at, at fast food places. You have, you know, jobs that are not sustainable to actually allow you to put your kids through college and buy a house and purchase a car, right? We've lost sight of the fact that manufacturing is what built the middle class. And we've so easily given it away to other countries and, and get on the other countries. Like, like, meaning like, that's awesome that they're excited about manufacturing, that they put manufacturing on a high level. But we need to also, right? China is, is awesome. They might cheat in different things, but they're awesome because they're pouring into technology. They're lifting up and literally building the biggest middle class on earth off of making our products while our cities like Chicago, right? Baltimore, Houston, Los Angeles, while gangs and, and violence is just going throughout the cities, hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, you know, that they, they can't find good jobs. You know, I was, I was talking to people, I was talking to somebody and in, in the west side of Chicago, the best that they can actually dream of, the best, the pinnacle in this life where you can actually, you have all these gifts, the best that you can be is to get a state job. That's what they got, right? While we give away jobs, while we outsource jobs, right? So the skills gap is, 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 is gone. It's a training gap. And we have to have action to solve these problems. As manufacturers, we need to step in that gap and we need to educate our government leaders because guess what? Manufacturing, CNC machining especially, is way over their heads. They don't understand it and therefore, when they get on their, their ride, right, for their two years or four years, they're gonna tackle problems that they can understand and get behind. So we need to educate them on what manufacturing is and how and that we can actually compete, right? We need to get behind our teachers. You know, our teachers are calling us at Titans of CNC Academy all the time. They're using our curriculum. They're thanking us and for bringing the resources, but at the same time, they have school officials and and bigger I would say old school manufacturing, you know, people that are holding us in a box, right? We need, as manufacturers, we need to go to our schools and our teachers. We need to get on boards and actually discuss how we can compete as a nation, right? How we can actually compete in CNC machining and show them that it is a fact that we can. And here is the path to do it. You know, when we look at awareness, our kids don't know about CNC machining. They don't know about manufacturing. You know, why is that? Because huge companies all over the nation that compete on a daily basis 
are basically in their boxes with intellectual property and they don't allow cameras, they don't allow their employees to talk about it. So there's this whole kind of almost underground world all over America in these cities where basically there's all this manufacturing happening and nobody talks about it. Therefore, kids can't see it. That's why we created the TV show. I was like, if we can actually put a camera on it and there's millions of people on the other side, they can actually see it and believe in it, right? But we need to take it a step further because as we were creating the TV show and as we went to all these schools and everybody talked all this amazing talk, we started looking at the curriculum and seeing the parts that they were making and seeing that it was on such a low level. Like the teachers are heroes, but they're given no money for their projects. There is no national curriculum. Like when it comes to multi-axis, five axis, you know, horizontal milling, the things that allow us to compete with other countries, there are no standards. The standards are just like they were 15 years ago, 30 years ago, right? And we're holding our kids who are way more intelligent than us, we're holding them in a box and forcing them to go over here when they can see online that other people can make these products and they can do this and do that. They, they're falling out, they're falling out. We have to change the entire conversation, right? You know, we've been working for, with SpaceX, Blue Origin, and other companies for a long time now. And, and because of all of the complexity of work, because of everything that we do, because we're on the cutting edge of technology, we've just brought a new look, right? We brought the academy. We brought a new look to manufacturing. If you look at aerospace parts, you can't see them because nobody can show them. It's illegal to show them on TV. But basically, we've designed our own parts that represent those industries and brought it out in an academy that's free. Everybody says, Titan, you need to charge for the academy. I'm like, I want to change the industry. It's not about money. And they're like, well, they won't see value if it's free. Well. You guys are in the industry. Please go out and talk to people. Talk to shop owners. Let them know that they can have the in-house training, that the academy is free. It's the most advanced CNC platform curriculum in the history. You can download everything for free and it's free, right? So their workers can create small groups and make it happen. Go to your schools and let them know that, that Titans of CNC Academy is bringing a solution to the problem, that they have free curriculum that is advanced and is just going to a whole nother level. Like we need to, we need to act as machinists, as business owners, as industrial experts. We need to go out and actually spend the time to get into our own communities and have an action plan to allow them to actually lift up. People are talking about, you know, oh, Chicago Titan, why, why are you helping Chicago? Like, why are you like designing this thing for Chicago? And I'm like, because I'm about this nation. I'm about America. And how do you get people to, to realize that they're giving away our middle class if you don't make a change on a massive problem, on a massive, massive stage, right? I went into San Quentin prison and everybody was like, well, Titan, like the way you're doing it doesn't work and this and this. And I'm like, if you say that, you just don't understand it. It is the most advanced, quickest way to learn. And we need to get past this stuff, this elementary stuff and get to a higher level. So then the state of California asked me for my help. I went into the prison system, took guys who'd never been on a typewriter, never been on the internet, never, never, they like, didn't have any concept of manufacturing whatsoever. And in weeks had them producing their own parts, right? Taking something from bare metal, creating a component per the print and delivering that to their teacher on time, under budget, boom, right? Something happens when you take people that are not quite qualified or are not built for the service industry and you show them that there is a 
place in manufacturing for them. I have no college education. I've made millions of dollars. I've solved huge problems. But manufacturing changed everything for me. It gave me a future. It gave me hope. Now, instead of being the guy who was in prison at one point, you know, for throwing one punch, I'm the guy that goes to the schools. I'm, I'm this person and that person. Just because people made mistakes doesn't mean that we can't come back. In the same way that we took San Quentin and we put it up like a painting and we built our own school and showed people it was possible. And when they tried to argue with us about old school this and old school that, I just pointed and say, look, these guys are making components. Now they can actually get a good job and actually take care of their families and their kids. And, and that gives them hope and that gives them the ability to have something tangible so they can walk away from everything else and become productive parts of our citizen, our, our country, right? It's the same thing with Chicago. Here's a problem that nobody can solve. Everybody's coming over and, and doing things on a small level while 20 people a weekend are dying, right? It's not all gang members. It's not all gang members. There are, are men, women, and children who are good people that, that pray over those blocks, that, that do amazing things, and they, they live and are trapped in these societies, right? And, and then we're like, we're excited and we're taking pictures like, oh, we're, we're like, you know, we have five people in a class. We have 20 people in a class. We have this and that. I'm like, you guys are spending billions of dollars on other things. Like, let's take 20, 40 million dollars, put it into a facility and have a thousand students. Let's build a workforce. You're trying to bring big companies and lure them into a place with no infrastructure. Let's build the infrastructure first and then attract business to bring their components from overseas to a place that can actually produce those parts and a place that has inspiration, right? And guess what? It's not just about Chicago. All of a sudden, you have a working mo a model and people start duplicating it everywhere else, right? I can go on and on, but it's already been 12, it's like in two minutes, it was already 12 minutes, right? So I just wanna say like, like Let's bring a conversation to the table. Let's wipe our floor clean. Let's take the shadows and, and shine a light in the crevices and actually have a real conversation because our kids deserve it. Let's lift up our teachers. Let's lift up our politicians. Let's lift up our business owners. Let's lift up everybody in this industry. And when you're going through the drive through at McDonald's, tell those guys that there is a way that they can actually make good money to support their families in manufacturing. And if they don't know how to do it, tell them that there is an academy, Titans of CNC Academy. It's free, you can download CAD CAM and resources for free as a student or as a student. And then you can go over to education. You can go right down, learn CAD, learn how to design, learn how to program, learn how to CNC, learn fundamentals. Everything's video oriented. Let them know that there is a gem right talk to the teachers and the business leaders who are overseeing our industry and tell them like we're not here to compete we're not here to make you frustrated that you spent all this time building something and now titan's coming to compete that's not what it's about i'm coming with a resource that's real that will help our kids learn quickly so that they can advance quickly and get into top level stuff like fixturing and tombstones and robotics and, and advanced manufacturing. So when they come out, they're not frustrated because they're making $16 an hour. They're actually making $25 an hour, $30 an hour, $35 an hour, $40 an hour. And companies are fighting over them because there's a deficit in our workforce, right? And and let's stop settling for mediocrity. Stop settling for mediocrity. The skills gap is a lie. It's a lie. That is not the problem and nobody's bringing a solution to the problem. We have a training gap and we need to understand that 
We have to look at training. We have to look at our workforce. We have to bring awareness. We need to lift it all up, right? The women out there. There's this many women in manufacturing. It's an intellectual place where you can actually make six figures if you solve the right problems. And the truth is, six figures is actually not even enough to put your kids through college anymore. But women, get into manufacturing. Get into the right companies. Go build spaceships. Go build like submarines and everything in between. Make it happen because it's a real viable solution to your life struggles that basically allow all of us to basically go up. Not to women's life struggles, just to our life struggles that we can't make enough money. Men, women, and children, like we can't make enough money to actually fulfill our dreams and actually go after it, right? Manufacturing is the solution, but we have to have training, advanced training first to be that foundation. That's what we're doing, and we've walked away from big contracts and big money to actually bring a resource for our children because nobody else was. I'm Titan with Titans of CNC. I have an amazing team, and we are here for you. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Manufacturing made in the USA. Boom!